Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 The Ring City DLC. Um, yeah, so we went through a gauntlet with a dragon. I think you might actually. Where is he? Is he back up there? I don't know where the dragon is. The dragon has disappeared. Um, but yeah, we went through the entire, well, bridges section. And now we are heading towards this cathedral, but there's one big bad guy in our way, sadly. I'm just gonna drink up the full health, because this might hurt a bit. This guy seems to know what he's doing. Um, okay. Holy shit balls! There we go. Powered true his attacks. Ringed knight paired great swords. Does that mean this guy doesn't respawn? Keep on dreaming, buddy. Keep on dreaming. Ah, uh, let's see. That looks pretty cool for a strength build, though. Paired black greatswords wielded by the ringed knights. The arms of early men were forged, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so that's pretty much the same thing. No extra lore in that item description. Um, Pray to the Divine Spear Monument. Ooh, spears. Okay, then. Offer Filianor's Spear Ornament. Well, we... Do we have that? Do, do we have that? Hmm. I don't find that in my inventory. Yeah, okay. No filion or spear ornament in inventory. Interesting. So this statue is completely gone. Oh, what's this? Ritual spear fragment. I'm just gonna check that out now that I have it. Online play item. A fragment of the matching ritual spears once held by the Knights of Princess Filianor. They are the namesake of the spears of the church. When Spears of the Church face unduly treacherous foes, this allows them to draw upon former majesty and summon a row of upward trusting ritual spears. Okay, is that an, an, an item spell or what is that? Like the throwing knives? Unlimited use, yeah. Interesting. So that's not, yeah, that's not the same thing. Okay. Because they're both spear fragments, that's what made it a bit confusing. So the church is pretty much where we need to go, but there's there's an item over there. And I need to... Okay, drop down. Twinkling Titanite. And now... I'm not stuck, I can probably jump that. There we go. Let's head into the cathedral, why don't we, eh? Because I've been uh, postponing this a bit. <laughs> this looks scary. It's gonna be a boss fight. I'm gonna be here for another two hours. Okay. No more waiting. Hi. But I came all this way to go here. Okay, let's turn away. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna enter, but... This might actually hurt. By the King's Decree, so he says that every time. I wonder how many times you can do that. So I'm turning back, and then I'm coming back. Okay, never mind. Let's open the door. Hello? Anyone here? Yeah. Immediate boss fog. That is interesting. And the only wearing spears. This is not. This doesn't bode well. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Just gonna wait and see what happens. Okay. I need to kill you, right? What the hell just happened? This is bullshit, right? Oh, there she is. That seems more like it. Yeah, that's certainly something I didn't want to roll into, but... Yeah, I'm gonna just die here. Oh, what the hell just happened? Why did I slow down like that? Now what? Now what? Why? 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 Stop throwing knives at me! Just gonna try and focus on oh on her. Yeah, the throwing knives are annoying, but not damaging enough to. This is not over, right? I'm just gonna heal. Arrow fire destroyed, but that, that can be it, right? Seriously? Okay, first try, I guess? That was a lot easier than the previous boss fight. Um, okay then, Titanite slab for that even. And Filionor's spear ornament, so we can actually go outside again and give that to the, uh, to the shrine. Let's do that first. I want to see what happens. So that was that was interesting. So we now got one of those items. Isn't that over here yet? The spears of the church watch over the princess's slumber, and this serves as proof of their fulfillment of their duty. The embellished gold cloth is woven with a crest of young grass. The princess's knights proudly displayed these precious favors, which were most often seen swaying from their identical ceremonial spears. The other thing was a Titanite slap, so I didn't get much else. Why was she protected by a painted guardian? That was a bit weird. A bit really, really weird. So let's pray to the Divine Spear Monument. Offer that up. Covenant Allegiance deepened. Okay then. Don't know what that did. But I gave it to the monument. And I'm embered up again, so let's just quickly touch the bonfire, if there is a bonfire, because it doesn't feel like there's a bonfire here. Hello? Anyone? Bonfire, please? Be wary of front. 
Take. No. Okay. Nothing here. Raise the left side. What's wrong with the right side? Is there something wrong with the right side? I don't think there's anything wrong with the right side. Um, just trying to see if I'm missing anything. Ah, there's the bonfire. Ooh, I feel like we're gonna meet something that is not gonna be a boss, but I'm quickly gonna go to Filing Shrine because this goes up. And I uh, spend my soul, so give me a second. Okay, so we're back. I put uh, two points into Endurance to get my uh, Endurance up to the same level as my Vigor, so they're both 30 now. Where are we going? Okay, seems like we're back outside. <sighs> Jesus. This doesn't look like we're gonna be going to any other place. Weirdly. Hello? Another door. It's a weird place to put a door. Look at this place. Although I still feel like I need to go to that separated tower as well. And we haven't seen that yet. Um, would be sad that we won't go to those other buildings. Or those, for that matter. But hey, let's go inside, I guess. Oh, and of course, the door where we talked to that woman never opened. Um, I'm guessing you're Filianor. Fat, fatty. Sadness, yeah. What is she holding? She's alive, but... Hello? Touch the embraced shell. Oh. Is that the Dark Soul? She doesn't look all that well, by the way. She doesn't look good. It seems like whatever's in that shell afflicted her as well. So the story, Filianor is the youngest daughter of, okay, didn't mean to do that, of Gwyn. And he left her here and told her he was going to come back for her really soon. But are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. But yeah, Gwyn never came and she's been here a very, very long time. So yeah, let's touch it then. Eleanor? Oh no. No, 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 I didn't mean to. Oh. Oh, she's still resting on it. Oh, she's not gonna be pleased. Uh. Whoops. Other fingers? What is she going to do? Um. Blinding lights! My eyes! Oh, I'm guessing now we're in that separated tower then. Or didn't we move anywhere? Those gauntlets took us. Oh my god! Ugh. Whoops! Um, I was never here. Oh, the dragon! Oh, whoa! Holy shit balls! Um. That's bad. That is a problem. Um, that looks like Lotric. It kind of also looks like the cover art of the game, by the way. So let's light the bonfire and be seated. Can I go back to the way things were? No. Crap. 
I hope I didn't didn't miss too much. Because it feels like I can't go back now. So yeah, the rest of the building is just gone. The entire ringed city is gone. And a pile of ash. What's this? Alexa, just... Okay. Just a player. Wow. Okay. Um... I don't really know what to do now, so that must be that separated tower. Which is no longer separated. What have I done? This isn't good. I didn't mean for this to happen. So that's, that's Lotwick. But what the hell is that? That doesn't look like something we've seen before. So we can go down. Jeez. Really no. Help me. It's Wait this. The red hood is come to eat us. To eat our dark soul. Who the hell are you? He's wearing a crown. And it looks like he Yeah, he lost one of his feet. Filianor, the red hood has come to eat our souls. But Filianor is dead, but who are you? He could be Lotric, but the crown I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we find some items that will explain this, but I can actually kill this guy. I mean, I've done a lot of harm already. Maybe I should put, put this guy out of his misery. There we go. Eleanor, help me. Okay. Um. Don't know if that was such a good idea, but hey. Now at least he's out of his misery. I didn't get any souls for him, barely. Um... Where the hell do we even go? So the... The, the dude I just killed, brutally murdered, came from over here. Because his black blood trail came from over here. Um, seems like he lost his foot over there somewhere, because he doesn't leave a trail over here. Okay, that's not good. Ooh. Are they all wearing a crown or what the hell is this? It looks like they are. So I don't feel as bad for killing that one guy now. There's thrones around this place. Jesus. Yep, there's the red hood. Oh, that's probably the Wayfarer Knight, if I have to guess. Alva? Alva the Wayfarer Knight? Oh my god, that's... that's what? Gale. Still here. Jesus. Yeah, there we go. So it, it is Gale. For my lady's painting. Gee. Did he just throw a corpse at me? Oh, God. Okay. Come on, buddy.
Ow. Ooh, that was a good one. I'm barely doing any damage here. Ooh, that was frostbite. Ow. Okay, didn't expect the return. Oh, I got hit there while I didn't really... Jesus. And jump. Okay, didn't think he was gonna hit me there. Yeah. Oh shit, what did I do now? He's only one third gone. Oh, he's actually bleeding. On his sword. Blood magic. This isn't good, is it? The blood of the dark soul. Yeah, of course his sword is on fire now. Oh, not just his sword. His entire face is on fire. Jesus. And he's standing up right now, and it's starting to... Lightning storm. Slave Knight Gale, yeah, come on. Why are you so big this time? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, they're skulls. Yeah. That's going to be it for me. Yep. Ooh, that's a double swipe each time because escape attacks as well. Wow. Okay. Well, um... Oh, seriously? What? What does that mean? Because I went a long way to get to Gale again. Wait, but there was another way I could go. Jesus. Okay then, so this entire area is his playing ground.
the two cocky there. Oh wow, he just hit me there. Kinda explains why that previous boss was so easy. Cause then we get this, this motherfucker. I don't think I care all too much about my souls cause I cleared everything out. And I didn't get my previous ones back so. Oh wow, okay that was weird. Oh wow, okay, that's why I didn't get hit before. Interesting. That was incredible tracking from Gale. Yeah, you're not really touching the floor there, Gale. Too slow. Oh, that was cool. Got him out of the combo. Getting my stamina back here. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Bad time to be healing there. Okay, I rolled out of the way, but for some reason that didn't take. Healing. There we go. Oh, and we're even down here now. Oh. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Yeah, okay, insta death. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow, okay, fuck you. Here we go again. I'm out of stamina completely. Oh, 
wow, okay, that was his final turret, apparently. Great! Great. Great. Oh, wow. Aww. Yeah. That's no good. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Cool. Damn it. What do I even do in this space? Seriously. There we go.
health, come on. Shit. Fuck you! Yes! In the face! Ugh. Ooh. Okay. That took me over three hours. Wow, well, uh, by the way, just to uh, explain the situation here a bit, uh, we're two days later than when this episode started, um, but... We defeated him with a, a lot of lot of practice. I still have four Estus flasks left. That was that was pretty nice. I actually stopped looking at his help or in that final phase because that final phase is just ridiculous with that lightning coming down and everything. Wow. Okay. So soul of slave knight Gale looks like Gale was um, corrupted. Blood of the Dark Soul. That is interesting as well. I'm gonna have to check that out in a second. But what exactly happened here? I think. We are at the, well, the Pygmies. So the ones we see at the beginning cinematic of Dark Souls 1. That take the Dark Soul. And, yeah, he kind of murdered them all, didn't he? Because there's, yeah, there's an another one over here that he murdered. And that's why he has the blood of the Dark Soul. Because the Pygmies had the Dark Soul. And when he started eating them, yeah, they're, they're all over here with the... Uh, with their crowns on their heads. Yeah, that was... And Gale, for some reason, started eating them. And then got corrupted himself. What is this? This is... Are these my souls? Accidentally on top of this pygmy lord? I did it. Yeah, I did it too. Here we go. Uh, appraised. There we go. Yeah, I did it too. That was amazing. It was a really, really tough boss battle. But it was really, really nicely done. Um... For once, not a boss fight with uh, multiple bosses. That was really hard. Um, I wonder if we can actually access any of the other... Because that tower, we never went to that tower when we were at the, the Ringed City itself. Uh, and I think I can actually warp back to the previous areas, if I'm not mistaken. But, let's check out the items here really... Well, not really quickly. I want to just talk this out a bit. Um, Soul of Slave Knight Gale... The red-hooded wandering slave knight Gale sought the blood of the Dark Soul as pigment for the painted world. Oh, that explains a lot. So he wanted to use that to give to the little girl in the painted world so she could make a new one. But Gale knew he was no champion, that the Dark Soul would likely ruin him and that he had little hope of a safe return. So he wanted us to kill him then. Uh, what else did we get? We got blood of the Dark Soul. But was that a key or something? Yeah, over here. Blood of the Dark Soul that seeped from the hole within Slave Knight Gale. It kind of looked like a dark sign, His uh, the hole in his chest. Used as pigment by his lady in Ariandel to, pick, to depict a painted world. When Gale came upon the pygmy lords, he discovered that their blood had long ago dried and so consumed the Dark Soul. Interesting, but can I give that to the girl in the painting then? Uh, I'm just gonna light the bonfire here, maybe something else happens. Let's rest at it. Because I think I can actually... Yeah, I can travel back to the previous areas. Which makes this interesting. Because I'm not going to end the episode right here just yet. I'm just going to explore a bit. And if we don't find anything, then I'm going to head back to the painted world of Ariandel. And try to... Well, return... 
the blood of the dark soul to uh, the little girl over there. Can I enter this tower now? So the only place I can think of is the area over here to the side that we checked out already. But... Tough enemy ahead. Okay. Maybe I... I can't take this. Time for destroy this. As I am Shira, daughter of the Duke, descendant of gods, and trusted friend to Medea. At once, I am the honor of the gods, the glory of fire, and the fear of the dark. Thou shalt not go unpunished. Okay, then. Thy treachery, thy profanity, and thy shameless yearning. Okay, then. Um... No, 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 no. Ooh, that looks like a big weapon. No, 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 roll back. Yeah, let's join in jolly cooperation, lady. Yeah, let's do that as well. Jeez, she has a lot of Astus flasks. Jesus, woman. Damn it. She does that good. Yeah, you're out. Nope. Yeah, there she goes. Shira, Knight of Filianor. Okay, so she was a friend of the dragon Midir. Crucifix of the Mad King. Oh, and a Titanet Slap. Okay, thank you. Let's check that weapon out. Crucifix of the Mad King. That sounds like a very interesting item to me. A cross spear hung with a malformed corpse. Once a mad king was born to the pygmy royalty and Shira, knight of Filianor, put him to rest. But Shira's cross spear, unable to kill the undying king, only pinned itself to him. Shira delivered them together to a dark room where she stayed and held them close. Mad King's folly slam malformed corpse into the ground to briefly awaken it, then fill it with strong attack to trigger a roar, a blessing or a vexation. Okay then, so that's uh, hmm. She kind of used her axe to impale a pygmy lord. And, ooh, god, that sounds just horrible. So that was something. She just started talking to me there. Luckily, I didn't go all the way to the end of that area when we were fighting Gil, because I think we would be fighting both of them at the same time. Um, But now, I think I checked out pretty much everything else. Uh, so I think I'm going to head back to the Painted World of Ariandel and try to give that pigment to that little girl and see what happens. There's another ringed knight over there, but I don't really, really want to risk losing all those souls. Although, you know what, let's just, let's just equip... Um, can I lose Havels? No, no, definitely not. Let's remove the dexterity ring for another ring of sacrifice, just just in case we die. I can actually do this as well. There we go. Hello, sir.
Okay. Let's do that twice. And there we go, with the site that's easily taken care of. Another Titanite Slab and four Titanite Chunks, that's really, really good. Okay, I uh, guess I'll see you guys at the Ashes of Ariandel expansion. See you guys in a second. Before we get to uh, at the Ashes of Ariandel, I want to see what weapons I can make with um, Gale's Soul. Gale's Greatsword. Greatsword of Slave Knight Gale, the only weapon that he kept with him from beginning to end. Originally an Executioner's Sword made for decapitation, this blade is heavily chipped and stained with the blood of countless battles. Blade of Peril, a precarious technique unique to the undead Gale. Leap in any direction, slamming the greatsword to the ground, and follow with normal attack for a large spinning slash or strong attack to backstab and jump forward in an overhead slam. So that's the attacks he used uh, when he was, well, in his final stages. Um, oh, here we go, repeating crossbow. This crossbow... Crossbow, customized for repeat firing to face mobs alone, was wielded by Slave Knight Gale. Used in the battles of an endless journey, this crossbow is covered with twists and dinks, rusted with blood and made extremely brittle from overuse. Repeat fire, assume stance to activate repeat firing mechanism and repeat fire with normal and strong attacks. Interesting. That sounds like the coolest thing. But of course his sword is so... I would almost say iconic. Then I'm actually gonna gonna buy that. There we go, and then I think I'm gonna buy a few other things. Uh, so yeah, see you guys at uh, Ariandel. Holy shit! Um, I never returned to Ariandel after I killed um, Sister Frida and the rest of them, but I think. This church is a bit on fire. Um, let me check if that little girl is fine, because I apparently don't take damage from walking around in here. That is interesting. And actually pretty cool. So let's head up and see if we can actually give that piece of uh, the Those dark side. Those who aren't to fire cannot paint a world. Those absorbed by fire must not paint a world. Don't worry. Forgotten mother. Mother? So that means Priscilla is probably her mother. Interesting. But who's. Is Gale the father then or not? That seems weird. Give blood of the Dark Soul. I can also talk to her first. Thy gift of flame has taken root, and Uncle Gale will soon bring the pigment. There we go. Pigment. Okay. Colored like the Dark Soul of Man. Yeah, I never talked to her, so I kind of missed that, but now everything starts to make sense. I wonder if Uncle Gale has found it. The pigment, colored like the dark soul of man. He did, but, uh, yeah. I was, uh, forced to kill him, I'm sorry, but here you go. Yes. My thanks, Ashen One. With this, will I paint a world. Please tell me thy name. I would name this painting after thee. I will share my name. My thanks. I will paint a world of that name. It will be a cold, dark, and very gentle place. And one day, it will make someone a goodly home. Okay. Can I talk again? I wonder when Uncle Gale intends his return. Oh, okay, I didn't I want to talk again. The new painting will be to him a gentle home. Oh, that is just sad. My thanks, Ashen One. I will assuredly finish the painting of a cold, dark, and very gentle place. One day, it will make someone a goodly home. Yes, it will. But not Uncle Gale, I'm afraid. So let's go down. And I want to check out a few more areas now that we're uh, completely done with everything. Although, I think I'm still able to kill the dragon if I want to. 
Let's go uh, back to the ringed city and see what happened. Did that just became louder? That was weird. So let's head to the Church of Filianor again. So give me a second. Okay, so I can return back to the ringed city. I wonder if I can actually... Yeah, I can. Get the elevator back. Because I actually believe there's a few more doors in this level that I haven't really opened yet. And I'm wondering what that is all about. But first, let's check up on Filianor. Is she dead in this world as well? Or is that just... Did she just transport us to the, uh, the other place? It's too bad that we never go over there, because that would have been awesome. Oh yeah, it's empty. Wow. Okay. So she went with us. Look carefully. Yeah, she's gone. She is gone completely. Okay. Um, well then. On that note, I'm going to end this episode here. We're not done yet. I want to try and kill the dragon, although I don't really see where he is. Should be down below somewhere. But I guess we'll uh, find him when we get back. But uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we'll... Uh, See if we can find anything else to do in this DLC. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.